That earnings call is underway, and at the top of it, CEO Stuart Butterfield, he started by saying that Amazon has licensed Slack for all of its employees, which is significant because Amazon is the second largest private employer in the country with nearly 850,000 employees. That announcement, however, has not been enough to stem losses that we have seen in extended hours. Those shares down more than 16 percent now. And this is mainly because investors, they already knew that Slack's user growth is surging amid the pandemic. But what we learned today is that that hasn't actually translated into a similar surge in the bottom or top lines. Revenue grew 50 percent year over year compared to 49 percent year over year the previous quarter. Not a huge bump. It's full year guidance disappointing given those lofty expectations and the enormous run up in share price this year. Now compare that to another hot, very popular work from home playing Zoom, which earlier this week said that its revenue surged 170 percent last quarter and doubled more than doubled its earnings guidance. Now on the earnings call, which is in the Q&A portion right now, Butterfield is trying to address the big question of sustainability around all these work from home plays as the economy reopens. He said that unlike many other video conferencing platforms, he mentioned Microsoft Teams, Google Hangouts, even Zoom, he said that Slack is not a digital substitute for in-person meetings, but acts more like a digital office. So, quote, a persistent place. And Melissa, he's going to be on Squawk Box tomorrow morning, so don't miss that. All right, Deidre, thank you. Deidre Bosa on Slack. Uh, Dan Nathan, do you think he's going to be able to make the case that this work from home boost can last? Yeah, no doubt about it. I think some of the changes that have been implemented over the last few months are here to stay. And listen, as far as the stock's concerned, I mean, this is a, a, an example of trader on trader crime. You know, this stock is trading basically where it was a week ago. Um, you know, so it had that run up from $31 to nearly $40 in less than 10 trading days. And expectations were really high. This is a company that's growing sales 50% year over year. So yes, they're not uh, profitable. Zoom is mildly profitable on an adjusted basis. I've just been making the case about Slack since it was in the mid 20s that on a multiple to sales, Slack is very cheap relative to Zoom. And, and uh, CEO Butterfield just made the case why they're a very, very different offering. So I like Slack down here in the low 30s.